Hey, a really fun feature we just added recently is ticket automations. With this feature, you can tell the system to automatically do things to tickets based on a bunch of rules. So let's jump right in. Um, from the admin page, scroll down to tickets and find ticket automations. And I've got a couple examples here I can show you. Um, one is called babysit invoiced. It says if the ticket status is invoiced and it's not updated in 48 hours, it's going to do something. So if we click on that and look, here you can set up these conditions, which are like ticket status, ticket type, who it's assigned to, um, if it has a contact, if the last comment subject is of a certain type. So you have all, all these conditions. So you can say something like, if ticket status is invoiced and it hasn't been updated in 48 hours, then you can do all these actions. You can change the status, put a comment on it, public or private. So private will do the same things that happen when you put a private comment on a ticket manually. It'll like email the assigned tech, um, it'll put the yellow comment on the ticket, it'll update the updated ad on the ticket. Public comment will do you know, what you expect it to do. It'll email the customer. Um, it'll update the updated ad so there will be recent activity on it. Um, you can fire a notification. You can email the assignee, like the user. You can email a custom email address, maybe like a manager or something. Um, you could assign it. You can post a message to Slack. If you post a message to Slack, you can have this thing automatically you know, putting stuff in different Slack rooms because it lets you, um, I can show you, it lets you specify the Slack webhook URL. So you, each of these different rules can all post to different Slack rooms. So um, lots of stuff there. But on this one, I've got to just set, you know, put a public comment on it. Um, if it's invoiced, that they should come pick up their computer. So um, you can use the ticket tags in here. You can like go to the template editor to find the the list of tags. Um, so I'm going to hit back and not edit that one. Another example one I've got in here, um, remind text to order parts. So if the ticket status is waiting for parts, it hasn't been updated in eight hours, I'm using a private comment so that the updated at gets bumped so that it doesn't keep running every hour. Um, and then we're putting an update on the ticket, just a reminder, a reminder need to get that part ordered. Um, so you could do things like also change the status that will update the updated ad on the ticket to like in progress or something. Um, so when you layer in like changing the status and the updated at, you can see you can get quite a bit of power in here. Um, so the way this works is a job runs every hour, not necessarily on the hour. Um, you can see which tickets will be affected on the next run time in this. Um, you can run now if you want to like fiddle with it and manually test it. Uh, so there's a rule that it'll also never run more than 10 automations on a single ticket. So um, it runs on only the open tickets. It does what it's supposed to do, maximum of 10 times. Um, definitely tons of use cases for this. We're going to use it internally a lot um, on the repair shop or team. We've already got like 10 of these set up on our internal instance having a lot of fun with them. Um, let us know if you come up with something or if there's like an action or a matcher that you need to add that we don't have in here.